we go back to the to the backbone of our music is the clave. When you travel the world, your root is part of yourself, but doesn't mean it's everything. Your personal root, in a way, if it makes sense, go to go to a little corner. I met Omar in Kamawe. We are both from the same town in Cuba, so we went to school together. Actually, we, we was really close friends. We studied together in the school when I started with four years old. Well, the quartet is a new project that Omar is uh, working on. This record is special record because it's, uh, it's running for, for quartet, Afro-Cuban quartet, you know. Somos una formación más pequeña, más chica, y de ahí que estamos buscando un sonido un poco más personal. Leandro, for example, is also from Camagüey. It's not about the music. Sometimes we remember stories. This is why this music sounds so natural and so organic. tiene un gran por ciento de elementos eh, contemporáneos, eh, digamos, pero es como el afrocuban, la música afrocubana cruda, básica, con elementos, arreglos y armonías bastante modernas, atípico en el jazz cubano o en el afro-cuban jazz. Omar has been looked at as a progressive and adventurous artist from the beginning and people have been whispering to him to do something kind of more straight ahead Latin jazz. He's kind of coming full circle uh, with his Latin jazz roots and invited some uh, fellow Cuban musicians from his hometown to join him for this project. We have Leandro St. Hill, he's from Camagüey. We have Ernesto Simpson, he's from Camagüey. And myself, I'm from Camagüey. So we got three Camagüeyans, I don't know how you say, come on, whatever. Three guys from Kamaway. I'm in, and I'm come from from another side, you know, the mother side, you know, Africa. Childo on bass, who's from Maputo, Mozambique. Sobre todo el puro sonido afro cubano, con un bajista de África, con tres músicos cubanos. La luz que en tus ojos arde. For a long time, I was a little resistance to play tumbao, no? The tumbao is still important in, in, a, in our tradition. And I, I was refused for a long time to, to don't do this. But maybe it's because I want to arrive to feast it pretty soon. <laughs> I say, you know what? I want to go back to my, to my roots, but to something I, I, I really see the people uh, feel it. Y toda la música que Omar escribe y escribió eh, está dando vuelta dentro de ese concepto. You can hear the clave because my idea is trying to put the clave coming on now. Mucha cubanía, mucha africanía. It's Africa and Cuba and many things. Y es donde realmente nos sentimos muy libres. This record is all about our tradition as organized addiction. And in Cuba, we have a strong addiction to the clave.
Thank you.